the club was formed um, late 2012 when a group of parents got together uh, for a, a few Thursday sessions and there was enough interest in the area to form a club in this area. The day before I turned 18 I stopped walking um, due to my condition and I bought, when I was walking as a child I was always kicking a ball around. When the opportunity came for East Ryan Electric Hills to be set up it was something I'd, I wanted to get involved in. Anybody can play power chair football, you just need the slightest movement in your hand to control the joystick. And when Luke tried it, he absolutely loved it. I've always been a massive Hull FC fan from being a young lad. Um, I've played the sport, played from the school and some local amateur teams as well. I miss playing the sport and then it was only about, about six years ago I decided, right, what can I do, how can I get back involved? Basically, the more I looked into it, the more help I got with setting up um, a wheelchair club in Hull. So we played our first season in National League Division 4 last year. We beat Sheffield Steelers in the final round, which is one of the best teams in the country. If not the best, they've got a team in every division. I like to branch it out as not only it's disability sport, it's inclusive sport, because everybody can play it. Every week we do inclusive sport at University of Hull. So this week we're doing sing volleyball. We're doing it for the next two or three weeks and uh, hopefully we're going to develop some players and everything will be really good. Inclusive sport is a way that levels the playing field. It's really important. I'm currently playing for Kingston Panthers, which is a basketball team. I also recently qualified as a referee in the game. I'm a table official. Uh, I'm also a coach as well now. Hopefully I'm going to start a university team. The sport is an inclusive sport played by disabled and able-bodied um, people. Um, the rules are more or less the same as the running game of rugby league. I got involved with uh, rugby, uh, wheelchair rugby league because mainly of Jed and Mike. Um, Jed and Mike have been long-term friends of mine and wheelchair rugby offers an opportunity to play with them, which I wouldn't get on a field obviously due to their uh, disabilities. You're not just playing the sport, you're becoming really, really good friends with people. Don't you? If you've got a similar condition, you can help each other out. It's like in the national team here and even in the academy uh, development plays that we've got, we're all best friends and we all support each other. Social aspect is massive. Um, you come into a situation like this, and you see other people in the same situation. So you look at them and you think, oh, well, he can do it. So why can't I go over and do it? You know. A lot of the players have come to the club very shy, and it's brought a lot of them out of the shells. It breeds confidence. It also gives them a lot of self-esteem as well. Uh, competitive side of it, obviously, the, the adrenaline gets pumping. Full on metal, metal, just crunching together. It's fast and furious. And you are not allowed to play in the field with everybody else and you meet new friends. The amount of talent that we've got in Hull for disability sports is unbelievable. I mean, we've got a former GB um, sledge hockey player um, and we've got loads, loads of others as well that are not on the badge of becoming um, a Great Britain player. You know, we've got a fantastic support network behind us with all the parents, well, it's mainly the parents of the players and the um, obviously wives and carers and things. That, help out with regards to all sort of secretary stuff and everything like that. Um, obviously, I think the, the main thing is to make people aware of the sport um, and the sports, um, obviously that's out there and available for everyone to, to um, participate in. The club is only made possible because of the, um, the volunteers that, you know, that come week in, week out, give, give, give their own free time to help the club. And it's also only possible because of the kind donations of, of local businesses and our patrons and our sponsors.